everyone welcome back to my channel Jamie Fran colors I'm Jamie if you're new here give me a comment down below let me get to know you a little bit um we are working in our Hannah Carlson soulmates book um we're kind of doing a or spirit animal is also another name I've seen for it um we are using this book for two months see what how much we can get done in it and I am loving it this is my favorite Hannah Carlson book to date so, so far we have done backgrounds, we have done um, our crab girl, let's see, there she is, so pretty, and then last time we did this beautiful steampunk girl, and I am just in love with how she turned out, oh my goodness, I adore her. So if you haven't seen those videos, go back and watch them. And then today we are going to be working on our hummingbird. Woo! So we're doing um, two page spreads and so we're trying to use the colors on both sides. So these flowers on her face um, match these flowers over here. So we're going to do them all the same so you won't see me color all of them. I'll color probably one or two and then I'll do the rest of it off screen. Um, probably one hummingbird and then I'll do the rest off screen and so forth and so forth. So I'm hoping that this video won't have the four hours of footage that my previous video had so that maybe we can not do so much speed through. So that is my goal and um, yeah, so let's hope it works out. I will see you. Let's get started. All right, I have pulled some Artezas here. I'm gonna use Crocodile Green A126 to put in all of the vines on the leaves. So this is gonna be um, on all of them, no matter their shape or look. We're gonna make it cohesive and just put this color on all of them. Alright, and then on the leaves that are like pokey rather than round, we've got pokey and round, the pokey ones are going to be moss green. Okay, and then the rounded leaves are going to be shamrock green. All right, let's make all the centers of the flowers bumblebee yellow, A128. We're using amethyst purple 142 on these flowers right here. Okay, we're also using this amethyst purple on the ribbon here. And then we're going to use this is Arctic Blue 117 on these little blue flowers. Okay, 
We're also going to use this glue on these two flowers. we're doing with peach A116. So the pencils I have pulled are Prismacolors, and we have Indigo 901 as our darkest, and then Peacock Blue 1027, and we have True Blue 903. So we want to take Indigo and put it in the shadows. Okay, so there's the indigo. Then let's go to the peacock blue. We're going to go over the top of the indigo and then fade it out. Bring it up this side a little bit, fade out from under here. Then we're going to take True Blue, we're going to go over it, we're going to press a little more over the darker places, and then we're going to lighten our pressure when we get into those light areas so that we can leave some of the marker for the highlight. See that? So I'm not covering up all of the marker, I'm using that as my highlights.
there's those ones. And then we're going to do the same for these blue flowers over here. So take our indigo and put it in the shadows, which this time is going to be down in the center of the flower. flowers we're going to use a dioxin purple hue 132 for in the shadows so do the same thing that we did with the blue flower just tuck this in underneath anything that is on top near the middle you take it up some of these veins if you want to, you don't have to. All right. Whew. Then we're gonna take the violet 932, go over the dioxine, and then go past it, feathering out that color. <laughs> Girlie's watching Super Y. In the other room, I'm hoping it's not too loud. He's my only kid home today. The other two, one went to school. The other's at his friend's house playing. So. All right. Then we're gonna take the Parma Violet 1008 and we're gonna go over all the darker colors and feather it out, leaving any spots for highlights that we may want. Now the highlights are not as pronounced in the purple flowers as they were the blue, so we may later at the end of the piece um, go in and add a little like white acrylic paint or pasta paint pen or a jelly pen to put a little more highlight back in. So don't worry too much if you feel like you don't have enough highlight. We can add that back in. All right, just fade this out. We're gonna use these same colors in the same manner in the ribbon on the page, on the other page, to make sure we have this purple over there as well. I'm on the countdown for school to start for all of my kids. They'll all be back in school in five days. They're so excited. My oldest is just chomping at the bit. He wants to go back so bad. I'm so excited. All right. Okay, so while we're doing those purple colors, let's just come over here and do them real quick. So I've done all this, we're just gonna do this right here. We take that dioxine and put it in.
Okay, so there's the purple. All finished. Okay, let's do the little yellow inside the flower. And I've done all of the yellow centers the same way. So I've taken Sandbar Brown. Put that in the shadows. Take yellow ochre and shade that out. Okay, and I'm going to take this around the center there and then take my canary yellow right over. And we'll probably go in and add a highlight in there as well later. So that is the Brown there. Let's do one of these here. Let's do the sandbar right in the middle there. And let's take the yellow ochre and put it down. And then the canary yellow on the ends and in the center. And that's just what we're going to do with the yellow on all of them. We could do it in the middle of the pink one as well. We can take the sandbar and kind of put it in the middle there, kind of where they all kind of join together. Okay. Then take the yellow ochre. And then the canary yellow. Going on the tips of these guys. There we go. Now we need to do the pink flowers. All right, the colors for our pink flower are going to be Process Red 984, Pink 929, and Salmon Pink 1001. And we're gonna do the same thing we've been doing with the blue and the purple flowers. We're gonna take our darkest color, Process Red, and place it in the shadows. Okay, and then we're going to take the pink and go over the process red and blend it out. I'm also going to put this pink up underneath these curves.
Okay, then we're going to take the Salmon Pink and we're going to shade out the rest of this. We can leave spots for highlights just like we have with the other colors. All right, that gives us all of our flower colors. So now I'm gonna go into these um, stems. I wanna use marine green as our darkest color and put that underneath. And all of our um, stems are the same no matter what the leaf looks like. Same over here. These are all the same. So we're going to put that marine green. There we need it. Okay. And then we're going to take moss green and shade it out. We can leave highlights again if we want to, so I think I will on this shirt. Probably add some more highlight in there because there's not much. Do all of the stems that color? Okay. Okay, we're gonna use these same colors on the pokey leaves. So we're gonna use the marine green. Take the moss green. Then we're going to take celadon green, ten twenty. Use this one very lightly. Alright, and then for the rounded leaves, we're going to start with dark green. Oh, goodness. This pencil, I might have to pick a different pencil to use. This pencil is having issues. I must have dropped it at some point. Okay, so we won't use dark green because he's being finicky. So let's use peacock green instead. We're 
it's fine. So peacock green. Do you hear Elmo in the background? Oh goodness. Okay, so that's the peacock green and then grass green. And then we're going to use a spring green. Add some lightness to this leaf. I'm going to go back to that grass green and just blend a little better softly on that. Alright, so do all of the leaves like that, and then I think we're done with the flowers. We can move on to our birds. Alright, we're going to base coat our um, hummingbirds in marker. I've already done this one. We'll do this one together and I'll flip it over. There we go. All right, so we're using a couple of the colors that we already used. We're using amethyst purple, and we're using arctic blue, and then we've added um, parma gray, acid green, and teal. So this is kind of the picture I'm kind of looking at. And then we'll go over them with pencil and make them look really cool. But right now we're just getting a base coat. So I want his tail, the amethyst purple. We're gonna go over it with pencil so don't fret too much. Like this is kind of our hot mess coloring section. <laughs> okay, and then you're gonna do the little birds on this side in the same color scheme. So go ahead and do that and then we'll do pencils on them. Alright, let's get this bird shaded. So we're gonna use we're going to start with violet that we used on the flowers. Take the 
Parma Violet, which we also used on the flowers. All right, then we're gonna get a new color. And this is the Grade Lavender 1026. Okay, I'm also going to use this grayed lavender right here, right here. Alright, then we're going to grab grass green, which we've used in the leaves. Green, green. And then a new color, chartreuse. Okay. Then let's take indigo. take a peacock blue. I want to make sure it is sharp. Take the aqua and marine, make sure it's sharp. Same aquamarine, and we're going to use it on the light blue as well. Okay, and then our last color on here is light aqua. We'll just fade out that light blue like a piece of hair. There are the birds. I think 
they look beautiful. I love it. So I think this page is about done. We just need to put like little accents for the dots and maybe a little black for their eyes. Very cute. And then we got to do, I think we're going to do her hair next. We're going to do like this little piece. And then we're going to do her skin and her shirt. And then we're going to be done. So <sighs> we're going to do a, a kind of a speed through of her hair and face. So. All right, let, just kidding. Let's do her eyes and this gem first. And then I can put away these colors. So let's use... Mm, Let's use peacock, or no, this is indigo blue. Kind of in the shadow of her eye, right where it would like meet the crease of her skin. Okay. And then let's take the peacock blue and kind of take it in the center there. that indigo and then let's take the light aqua go over the whole thing okay then you'll take whatever black pen you have handy to do the pupil there in the middle all right, so let's do these same colors down here. Let's take our indigo blue. And then our peacock blue. Aquamarine. And then our light aqua. And then take a little bit of black. colors away so next we will do her hair and her skin all right let's do some of her hair so we want to base coat her hair with yellow ochre 942 going to take a sandbar brown 1094 
Okay, then we're gonna take chocolate. Okay, then I'm gonna go back to that sandbar. And then back to that yellow ochre. Check and see if there's anything you want to fix. Have some pretty hair. Okay, now her skin. I'm getting tired. <laughs> this is a lot of work for one picture, one video. I don't know. Okay. Okay. All right, let's take our chestnut 1031. All right, we're kind of in our hot mess area, but don't freak out. Okay, so let's grab nectar. All right, then we're gonna go to our light peach.
Okay, I'm gonna grab my Bumble B yellow marker that we used before. I'm gonna fill in these dots. I'm gonna leave her um, embellishment of a shirt there, pretty light. We're also gonna add gelatos to her face, which I did on the steampunk girl as well. Just to help smooth her out a little bit, and it'll be fun to just play with our fingers a little bit. Magnetic Field by Jane Davenport. Put that in the shadow a little bit. Let me just smear on there. You can activate them with water, but I don't want to. I'm just gonna rub them in. And I'm doing this pretty much because tonight I'm feeling lazy. <laughs> I could keep going with the pencils and smooth her out, but it would definitely take longer and I'm just feeling lazy and like I want to play with my fingers. So, so grab the gelatos. I won't do this on every picture in this book, but some of them we will. grab the peach gelato let's put some of this in there
I just love how it's soft and glowy. These just make the skin. All right, this is Metallic Melon. I'm gonna try putting a little on her cheeks. So cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then this is coconut. It's a white that I think is lovely to just highlight with a little bit. Oh my goodness, I love her. Okay, she needs some lips now and I think maybe a gel pen. I do, this is bugging me just so I'm gonna put the, some white in her <laughs> either just so it's not bugging me as much. Okay, um, let's grab, let's see. I, all right, let's grab something for her lips. Um, maybe some process red. I think we used that before. Let's put... Okay, and then let's grab some salmon. Some salmon pink. So cute. Okay, and then let's grab a goldish um, gel pen. I'm gonna put in the beads. All the jewelry with this. So that there and then Well, okay. And then let's grab our white Posca paint pen. Put some dots on her lips. And we have some on her there. And we have some on her eyes. So nice. You could like go crazy with this and put it anywhere you want an added highlight. You know? It's just fun. All right. Oh, I think she's beautiful. Oh, how much fun. I really enjoyed coloring her. I got a little <laughs> tired there at the end, but I love her. I love how bright and beautiful the colors are. I love how she just kind of glows. Oh, I just love it. All right. So that is our hummingbird girl in our soulmates or spirit animals book by Hannah Carlson. Yay, we've done three in here already, you guys. Oh, it's so much fun. I love this book. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And I hope you guys find time to relax, enjoy yourself, de-stress, and do a little coloring. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.